how to make money work for, for you. you. Mm. How to make money work for you. Mm. Yeah, it's an interesting. I like it. Maybe I, I share like it. Bella. Eh, hey, Bella she she quiet. <laughs> but for now, ladies, let's just, speaking of the stats that are out there, well, it's 2015, but of course, I don't think much has changed. Women are kind of excluded and mm. aren't as, you know, mm. advantageous in that area as men are. Mm. Why? I mean, the, Do you think the conversation is? for inclusion mm. has happened since 2015 and um, where we are at now. Mm. And I think women have really pushed the boundaries yeah. to just kind of be... <clears throat> Uh, financially stable mm. and working hard and just making sure that we are, you know, um, taking up space. Oh. When you look at, I think before we even get to the facts and the stats, mm -hmm. I think it's, it's, um, it's important to talk about financial education in itself. Um, that's a, a conversation that must be had. Um, how financially educated are we? Mm -hmm. um, are we taught to save? Are we taught to mm -hmm. invest? Mm -hmm. What are we being told about money? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is, um, is this a conversation that should start when you're still young? Is it a conversation that should be taught through school? You know, at household level when you're married? At what point do you begin to, um, you know, get that education on your finances? Yes. I know that in Zambia we have Financial Literacy Week. And I feel that's important. And that's why, to some extent, the men seem more advantaged when it comes to financial um, stability and what and whatnot, because they put more effort in, in doing that, I feel. And Everett, I don't know how this will sit with you, and I'm just saying it because sometimes it's a, it's, it's a reality, but on average, a woman is more, uh, she's more at, um, what's the word? Mm. She will probably be the one to say, I will m let my partner be the financier, okay? Yes, like yes. He will have an upper, uh, an upper hand when it comes to finances. Mm. And it, it goes all the way to, to our childhood. We're not really taught that. It is so important. I always say we talk about finances, money on four different levels, right? So first there's making money. First of all, that's your income. Mm. So you want your various streams of income. We always hear all the millionaires say you need at least seven streams of income if you want to be a millionaire. Just one is not enough, especially not in this economy, not in this world right now. And then the next layer is keeping money. So you make your money, but then you have to keep it, which is savings. And then there's growing your money, which is investing. And then, of course, there's debt management. Oh. That's like <laughs> In Congole. such a big issue. I yeah. mean, almost everybody I know has had some sort of debt. You Congola right. the dress or you went to the bank and, you know, things like that. Or so. maybe even over Congola, they yeah. pinned a you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And threaten you to post you on on, on, on Zeshawala. Yes. <laughs> or maybe you're the one who has conversions. No. Yes. Yeah, and you know? the people are dodging you. Yeah. So everybody has it's had different some. Levels, yeah. yeah. Everybody has had some form of um, experience with debt, especially people who work for themselves. They have businesses. For you to grow your business, at some point you need to borrow. So debt is a big topic that we just don't really tackle and dive into. But mm. yeah.